What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and this is a massive win for the WWE 2K community. I think at this point everybody pretty much knows what's going on right now. What's the status broke TOS and 2K canceled Christmas on them. But after the response from the community, 2K actually walked back on this decision. Now this is huge because based on WWE 2K24 and a lot of features we see in that game, it pretty much let us know that they do listen to the community, but I think the fact that they walked back on this decision confirms that fact. Now a response like this does not happen just because people are making videos about an issue. People make videos about things they don't like all the time. I think a response like this happens when the community comes together. These videos have been getting huge responses and you guys have been in the comment section voicing your opinions on it. I think 2K sees that and they made a decision based on our voices and you really don't see that in video games often so gotta give a big shout out to 2K because while this is a big win for status and other creators who have been banned, this is a big win for the community as well but what's the official update status went to x and posted wwe games and i have met on how my mods can impact the game we've come to an agreement and a fair one at that thank you guys for the support thanks to all of you my ban has been lifted i am free so free status slide for status the movement was a success and he acknowledges the same thing here he says thanks to all of you my ban has been lifted 2K did not have to lift this ban. They could have stuck to their guns and said, Sir, you've broken TOS time and time again. It's over. But instead, they took time to sit down with this man and come up with an agreement. And he says it's a fair agreement at that. So if he breaks TOS again, we can't blame 2K. Creators are going to have to use this as a wake-up call because after this situation, we know if you break TOS, there is a chance they will cancel Christmas. But 2K actually responded to the situation as well, and it's actually a pretty good response that let us know why they banned them in the first place. Let's check it out. The response comes from Fatal Steven, who pulled it from the WWE Games Reddit. Hello, WWE 2K community. We've heard your voices. Now, you hear that from companies a lot, but this is the one time I can say that I actually believe them and wanted to let you know we've met with status and had a productive discussion, touching on stability concerns and performance issues related to some of the popular mods. Why didn't they say that in the first place? Now, when you go into community creations, you are likely going to get a lot of crashes. If these crashes are coming from the mods, people adding things to the game that's not supposed to be there, then I definitely understand 2K's stance and the ban, because that does create a negative user experience. But why didn't we just say that in the first place? Why did they say he was uploading inappropriate content if it was content that was causing stability and performance issues? That makes a lot more sense. It goes on to say, as a result of this discourse, we are lifting status ban effective immediately, working with him to bring back some of his content, which doesn't cause stability issues. Will we still be able to download those women in there? I, I got a lot of them I need, so even if not, shouts out to status for putting them in there in the first place. And moving forward with him towards a common understanding. So that's another positive that we have coming out of this. I don't think 2K really wanted to acknowledge his work as it was before just because he was modding the game, but the guy makes great calls. So if he is working hand in hand with 2K to know what is acceptable, then I think that's only going to help him get bigger and really help benefit his future. We invite you all to move forward with us and continue to enjoy and celebrate the fun to be had in WWE 2K24. Finish your story. I'm glad 2K finally did finish this story and it didn't take them too long to do it. Now, some other guys were uh, affected here as well. But we look at this post from Marty M who says, it's so amazing the voice this community has. Truly unbelievable. Status is free and none of my uploads the last few days have been touched. So I think it's a great sign for things to come and the relationship between the community and 2K as well. Free status worked. Now that is correct. And Marty makes some pretty crazy stuff, y'all. I think I saw like a jail. Look, boom, look at this. We got a graveyard. Oh my goodness. Is this like a space you can actually fight in? I'm going to have to go check this stuff out. I saw he made a jail. There was like a Waffle House. A lot of... Look at that. <laughs> Things like this is insane, y'all. The community gets really creative. I just wish 2K would take the gloves off and let these guys cook. Hopefully, I don't get clipped for that WWE clip that was just showing. But this is a big win for the community. This is a big win for creators. And this is a big win for 2K as well. Because personally, I respect them more than I ever did. 
Now we just gotta get some type of content filter in the image uploader. Can you download these things on Community Creations? I'm about to go in there and check right now. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. Don't forget to drop a like on it and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bomb Squad, let's get to that. Ready to the goddamn moon get hipper.